Hi, I'm Bald of St. Louis. We're covered by St. Louis, and I'm here with Nathan Whitaker about his book, um, game, Snap Decision, on the Game Save series. My first question is, was this based on any past life experiences or stories you've heard? Well, there was a little bit of that. Uh, having written books with Tim Tebow and, and uh, Tony Dungy, uh, there were some nuggets of, of truth there. It's, it's based not far from where I played high school football. Um, so there was a little bit of, of truth woven in with that. So what has been like the hardest decision you had to make while you, on, while, you, while you were an athlete? Well, I think that the underlying theme here is honesty. And there's always that issue of, of playing the game hard, playing it within the rules, making the right decisions, and, and doing what's fair and, and equitable. Very cool. So will it be folk, mainly focused on football, or will it be other sports as well? This first book is on football. The next book will be based on basketball. And then we'll explore from there where we go. But, uh, but want to have a broad range of sports. So. Will it also be male and female protagonist? Yes, uh, primarily this first one's geared towards boys, but there are some uh, female protagonists in it and uh, who, who help the boys navigate the, uh, the issues at times. And so there will be both, yes. Oh, very cool. Uh, do you think a lot of kids go through something like this having to deal with honesty issues? I think so. I think we're all confronted with it at some point, and that's one of the beauties of sports to me is that we learn so many lessons that we can use later in life through sport, uh, whether it's a work ethic or honesty or, or uh, loyalty. A lot, a lot of themes get addressed first in sports for a lot of us. Now, um, was this like something that you thought about for a long time writing about? Was it something that just came to you like, you know what, I think I want to go into kids' books? <laughs> right. Well, I've, I've thought about writing fiction for a long time. Zondervan was good enough to come to me with the kid's idea. And then the, the last twist on it was all the concussion research that's been going on, and that's one of the themes in here. And so I was able to work with some of the doctors at the University of Florida who have been studying this and trying to figure out how we identify concussions, how we make sure kids don't get hurt further while they're trying to rehab. So, so it was kind of a last minute twist on the book as all this research came up. Very cool. Like, but besides kids' fiction, is there any other genres you like to explore? Because you've done um, biographies with a lot of sports heroes too. You know, I, life has been such an adventure so far, and writing different things and different doing children's books with Tony Dungy and and kids' books, and so I don't know what'll be next, but I'm sure there'll be something and maybe more fiction. Very nice. And how long did it take you to write this book? This book took about uh, six months. Um, give and take, working back and forth on drafts and, and uh, sorting through it. It was a different process than the usual what I'd done, writing biographies and the like, so it took a little more doing. And so how many books in this series are there so far? This is the first, yes. It looks like there'll be up to, it looks like there'll be four to start with. And once you reach that no, magic number four, will you continue forward or just stop right there? Well, we'll see. We'll see if the characters have kind of a, a life that needs to be explored further. Or if we'll introduce a new series of new characters or where it goes from there. But for now, that's the current plan. I mean, yeah, thank you very much for talking to us right now. Absolutely. Baldwin, thank you for your time.